Ibrahim. And I'm Jesse Sinsack. And welcome to Beyond the Metal. Today, Jess, it's family day at Beyond the Metal. That's right. We're here <laughs> with the Vito family, Louie's mom, dad, and sister. Now, Jude, being mom, mm-hmm. you have to have something that you're most proud of Louie for. What is it? Well, I tell Louie this all the time. We're very proud of his accomplishments, his snowboarding. I mean, we, when... When it's going well and, and, and he's reached his goals, that's wonderful. But um, just recently, he was asked to do the Make-A-Wish Foundation for a young boy, um, Connor, 12-year-old, and he wanted to meet Louie. So in Aspen, Louie dedicated a, a great portion of his day and took him to the half pipe and showed him and introduced him to people and, and actually wasn't prepared to do it. So Louie gave him the goggles that he was competing with. He gave him the hat off his head. Nice. Um, he did some really neat things and has promised to stay in touch. And, and you know what? That's what it's all about. We try to keep him focused on that, that he's been given a gift. And if he can work this gift, and, and, and then, then you know everything, and he, and he doesn't forget where he came from, then everything will be be good from this you know actually I learn a lot from him it's amazing because I it's how do you do this how do you keep everything in line and, and that's really the secret to the to the madness is or like I I taught him at a young age you're gonna have butterflies just make sure those butterflies are flying in formation <laughs> now Linz you live with Louie in, in Salt Lake What's it like, uh, you know, to live with him? I mean, he's he's got What's it like quite to live a with life. Your, what's it like to live with your brother in general, and then yeah. let alone your yeah. brother in yeah. order? You know, a lot of uh, siblings don't live together, <laughs> and uh, yeah, exactly. And and we do bicker, you know, just like every other brother and sister do. However, he's like one of my best friends, and we get along really, really well. Um, it's uh, if you've been with anybody in my family, the Vitos are not your typical family. So it is crazy all the time. We like to call our house Hotel Vito. I love sleeping on yeah. your guys' couch. I'm yeah, you've been there. You were there. I, for think a I few want weeks. to come to Ohio and hang out. There's such a great, grounded, fun family. You know, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. diverse for sure. Now, Utah. what what is one thing that you guys are maybe looking forward to seeing here at the Olympics? You know, it's not your first Olympics, but your first Olympics with Louis. In my opinion, Louis hit the home run. Anything that happens now is extra. Yeah, no no matter what, how he does, he will forever be classified as an Olympian. He could get first place and he could get last place and it honestly means no different because he will be on the 2010 Olympic team. It's pretty awesome. I have to ask mom, and I'm sure you had a lot of friends that watched Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> oh my gosh, my favorite show, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like to see your little boy up there dancing away? Oh gosh, I didn't want those judges to be mean to him. I mean, isn't that a totally yeah. mom thing? Um, I was I was proud of him for doing it mm-hmm. because how many 21 year olds would step outside their comfort zone? It was very strange just to know now that my brother can dance better than I can, right. and he has he actually has more style when he goes out. So he kind of took some of it. I'm I'm getting tips from him, but I am. Yeah. Wait, do you snowboard? Yes, you we do. all do. Oh, whole you family, all it's a know. snowboarding family. Yeah. I I am you like you guys. I am also from the Midwest originally. Not exactly a mecca of mountains. How did you learn, especially Louie, to get to such a level snowboarding in Ohio? In, in our hometown, there's a, a very small hill, um, very close, which we're so fortunate to have, where we actually, my grandparents took all of us out to ski. And forced we all, us. yeah, forced us. And <laughs> my brother and my dad saw some people snowboarding, which we had never seen. We didn't know what it was. And so they actually started, and then it kind of trickled through the family, and now most people snowboard. But uh, as Louie progressed, we had to continue and find, you know, bigger hills. There, there's, there's a huge difference, though, with snowboarding, with riders that, you know, have the natural ability, such as the Louis, the Sean Whites, and the other guys that, that, you know, didn't but put in that extra effort. Yes. I think Louie not only, you know, has the natural ability, but also put in that extra effort, too. I mean, growing up with Louie riding at Mount Hood, he would spend all day out on the hill, be the first one out there and the last one to leave. Do you think that some of these moves now, especially with injuries, are just too dangerous and they've talked about banning some of them? How do you guys feel about that and are you ever worried for Louie? Heck no. It's be too dangerous. You don't want him to get hurt. No, but, no, but I mean, that's, what, that's why they're elite athletes and, and they're going to keep pushing the envelopes and who knows what's going to happen after. No, no, that's part of the game. That's great. Well, he's a very, we had the pleasure of, of meeting him and sitting down with him and he is such a 
such a strong individual, and now I, I know why. He, sound, he comes from a really strong, great family. It really is an honor to meet you guys, and you're so much fun. They are. They're a great this time. Is, yeah. You know, growing up, being able to hang out with the Vitos my whole life has definitely been a pleasure. So Absolutely. thank you guys so much thank for you. coming out and joining Best us. Best of really luck to your family, thank and of you, course, Larry to Louie and Team USA as well.